So, here we are guys, first outing with the North Face Westwind after its hydrostatic head being reintroduced to the ground sheet. So, as you can see it's a little bit of snow here tonight, so it'll be quite interesting. Oh, that's a tree, in case anybody's wondering. It'll be quite interesting just to see how that does overnight, but I have to say I have quite high hopes. So, as promised, I said I would give it a test and I'll let you guys know in the morning how it goes. So guys, uh, that is the first night spent in the tent after restoring the hydrostatic head to the ground sheet of the North Face West Wind. As you can see, it's a, it's a reasonably nice day. We headed up to a small mountain locally. It was all very good. So, would I recommend Plasti Dip? Absolutely, uh, not one bit of dampness that I could see in the flash sheet compared to last time where the flash sheet was showing, you know, extreme dampness when I woke up in the morning. This morning, absolutely nothing there. Uh, yeah, completely convinced that that solved the problem. So if you uh, if you do need or find yourself in a place where you're your ground sheet, sorry, not fly sheet, your ground sheet is um, is not as waterproof as it should be then Plasti Dip would seem like the way to go. One thing that I would say guys is that having now done this, it does add a little bit of weight to the tent. I've added approximately 300 grams um, to the weight of the tent and that is basically all in the Plasti Dip coating that I applied. I'm almost certain that you could get away with less than that if you were to put on a thinner coating, but I opted to do it quite thickly if you've seen the previous video.